On today's 11 by 14 inch canvas, I'll be decoupaging and stenciling some painted papers. To get the designs I'm using, just click on the PayHip link below to access my digital downloads. So let's get started. I'm painting deli paper today for my pumpkins, but I think you could also use copy paper or tissue paper. I want them to be three different colors, so I'm just applying a bunch of paint with my chip brush and a sponge. While those are drying, I'm gonna use my wood grain stencil and some burnt umber. Start stenciling the background of my canvas. I don't want too many of the same knots, so I'm just using different parts of my stencil to just put a few of the knots and then I can fill in to make my fence. I mix a little off-white in to make a lighter brown and then I'll just apply that with my baby wipe all over. Then I can tap in some more color here and there until I get the look I'm going for. Now I'm going to trace my pumpkins onto my papers and then I can mix up some paint with a little bit darker color so that I can make a little shadow of the shape of the pumpkin. stenciling on my flowers now and I want them to go off the edges. I just think that's a cooler look uh, and then I'll cut the pumpkins out. Putting the centers in with my trusty toothpick then I can move on to my other pumpkins. This yellow turned out to be very transparent, so I'll have to give two coats to each flower. Now I can cut them out. And now I'll use that little bit of darker paint that I used to make the definition of the pumpkin, pumpkins <laughs> on the edges to finish them off. Now it's time to decoupage my pumpkins on. I like to use a watered down, just a little bit of water into my Mod Podge to make, make it a little bit more fluid and I don't know, I just like the way it behaves better. I like to apply a good bit on the back and the front and then smush all the bubbles out. And then once I get all three pumpkins on, I will go over the entire canvas with a couple of baby wipes wadded up and I'll pounce all over just to get my texture all the same. I don't have video of me doing that, but I have a quick clip at the end of this clip that shows that I have done it. I'm going to be using Q-tips to dab on my berries in a little bit and I don't want the little fuzzy bits coming or bothering me while I do it. So while I've got my Mod Podge out, I'm going to give them a quick coating. And while those are drying, I can start stenciling on my leaves and tendrils. Stenciling on the detail of my leaves. I've watered up a little piece of gro grocery bag and put it inside my clothes pin. And I'm just dabbing on just a little bit of yellow on top of the leaves and the tendrils to give it a little extra oomph. Adding in a little stem detail.
stenciling on my bittersweet. And then using my Mod Podge Q-tips, I will add three different colors of berries. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, you can really help grow my channel by hitting that like button and subscribing. Hope you'll join me next time.